So Butchko won the toss. They're kicking right off screen. Scotty Wyan versus Primus, one of the most promising young players in the competition. Ramiro has had a great year. Morton caught with a ball. Great tackle by Tony Liberatore. That's a feature of his game, of course, Kevin, at his tackling. Usually curls you on the boundary line during the special comments today, and Tony's mum looks after you. Yes, they do. They look after me very well down there. Scotty Wine, a bit of a fresh air shot. Quill trying to crash his way through. Young Bamford, been a terrific first season. Deep inside 50. Grant needs a kind bounce. Dwyer, the tackler. Happy to see the ball go over the line for a boundary throw in. Such a key player, Grant, of course, this Footscray side. His form in recent weeks has been absolutely superb. And He's a very, very vital player in the out of defence. You mentioned earlier the youngest player ever to kick 50 goals in AFL football back in 1990, really making his mark now as a defender. Trying to crash his way through was Ramiro. Liberatore, the playmaker, trying to set it up. They won't hold on the ball. Johnson over the top, and they'll get a ball up. There's some good defensive work there by Footscray, keeping the ball in that forward line. Uh, the Fitzroy boys keeping the ball in the forward line. Actually, that kick did carry a fair way from Bamford earlier, so maybe the breeze uh, going straight across the ground. Uh, we may see a few goals scored at the Barclay Street end. Of course, you also, Bernie, we may see some rain shortly. Yes, yeah, a few uh, clouds gathering curls as the uh, umpire throws the ball in the air. It's Primus and Wine doing the ruck work. Chrissy Johnson at the bottom of the pack there gets a handball out. This is Danny Morton giving it to Johnny Rombottis, who takes a dive, but he gets a hand pass away. Danny Morton again with a handball, finds Brett Chandler on the boundary line, goes for the banana kick, it looks pretty good. No, he just misses. So the force, first score on the board goes to Fitzroy, and uh, looks pretty promising early for the uh, Lions. Yes, they have open, they're moving the ball around nicely, they're very confident with their give at this stage. So Tony Campbell taking the kick in for the Bulldogs, finds Steve Prettyhook unattended out at half back. Tied up by Martin Pike. Steve Prettyhook back in the side. He's a key defender for this Footscray side. Had a lot of hamstring problems. Luke Darcy couldn't take the mark. Kicks it off the ground. Jose Romero tidies up around the corner. And there should be a mark for Leon Cameron on the chest. So Cameron missed a lot of the season with thigh problems. Looks for Jason Watt, who leads into the pocket. Gets a hand pass off to Jose Romero. He's tied up. That should be holding the ball. No play on, says the umpire. Matthew did doing some good defensive work for Fitzroy. This is Nigel Callett. Gets a hand pass out to Tony Liberatore. Liberatore back to Nigel Callett. He's tied up by Brett Chandler. Some good work by Fitzroy early in this match. Terrific stuff. And they're certainly working very hard, KB. Well, Fitzroy have been competitive uh, generally in the first half of their matches this year. Although last week uh, against Adelaide, they were very, very disappointing, being down by some uh, 100 points at half time. But in most games, they have been competitive in the first half. Boyd, quick kick out of the pack. Dwyer, a former Saint, bundled out of the way by Smith. Crediok, under pressure. Scott West, caught high, no free kick. I think uh, what we've seen already, Kev, there's going to be a lot of tough scrimmages today. And the players that are prepared to work in close to the ball and get it out will be very valuable. Detroit lead on the scoreboard, one behind one point, Footscray yet to score, Primus. Had five reserves games with the Cats, looks like he's one of the top choices now for the Brisbane Lions. Collinhook to Quill inside 50, should kick a goal. Poor finish. Yes, poor finish. Yeah, disappointing that, Peter Quill had a golden opportunity directly in front, 40 metres out, and could not finish it off. But that stand, you know, those goals should be taken. Absolutely. So Matthew Dent brings the ball in for Fitzroy, kicks it to the other side of the ground. And Scotty Wines attempted to get the ball there. Atkins gets it off to Carter. They bring the ball well up that outer side of the ground, looking for Mallington, but Tony Campbell doing the spoiling on Mallington. Seeks the boundary line and finds it. Tony Campbell, who did a great job last week on uh, Vic Severio Rotta, kept him goalless. And that's no mean feat because uh, he's a good player, Severio Rocker. So the boundary throw in. Scotty Wine up against Matthew Primus. Primus in front. Gets a tap down. Johnny Rombottis. He's tackled. Throws the ball away. Tackled by Weirer. John McCarthy gets the handball to Chris Johnson who ducked his head. Danny Morton takes possession. This is Rombottis tied up on the corner. And the mark taken there by Tony Campbell. Campbell in the last line of defence. Spent a couple of years out of football in Western Australia. Surprise pick up by Footscray. Tap on by Quill. West, 
Best in fairness last year for the Bulldogs. Collingham. Some rebound football. West back to 50. So Fitzroy come away. Boyd goes wide. Finds Primus. This game's open a very high standard. It's, uh, it's damn good football. Fitzroy 16th, they've won one game for the year. Footscray 15th with three and a half wins. Conditions are not absolutely perfect. Rowan Smith goes to ground and he'll take the free kick. It's too high there. So after four and a half minutes of action, scores level one behind a piece. West, taken by Darcy. Got enormous talent. Kicks the ball in, looking for Hargraves, and he takes a juggle bar. He's got a loose player, it's Colin Hook right on 50, he can take a bounce. Backing back is Watts, he's got it. That's a good mark, but I thought uh, Colin Hook could have done more with that. Yeah, that's that's right. he should have, should have ran in and dragged the player. He had 15 metres, didn't he, on had Simon Atkins, and so Atkins would never have caught him. And he's played on quickly back to Hargraves, so very unselfish play. Kev, you were talking about players, you, you mentioned young Darcy with talent. This boy here, I believe, has got some exceptional talent. He just has to just discipline himself a bit more and, and just go about his football in, in a more professional manner. And I think he could be a very, very good player. He's kicked 29 goals. He's just playing his 30th game. Started his career as a young player down at Carlton. And I think what you say there, Curls, is... What was his problem down there? He probably wasn't dedicated at that stage, but he looks like he's taken the enormous step. And along with Luke Darcy, Footscray have the key forwards maybe to build a future around. They certainly have. Hargraves, pops it through. Oh. Well, they certainly exposed Fitzroy then with their loose checking. Darcy coming into the centre of the ground and uh, Colin Luke with plenty to spare in terms of yardage. He could have done anything with the ball. I believe he should have ran in and finished, but... They got that, they deserve that goal and they work very hard for it. Exactly right. The, the rain tumbling down now here at the uh, Witten Oval. A bit of a worry that match up to Simon Atkins on uh, Steve Collinhook. Collinhook with his pace will certainly worry Atkins. So the bounce down. Speaking like a coach there, Bernie. <laughs> so Tony Liberatore takes the ball from the Scotty Wine knockout. Johnson gets a hurried kick away. Uh, Johnny Rombottis. First onto this for Fitzroy, the left foot kick, looking for McCarthy. Chris Grant gets a big thumb away, and I think this will beat Tony Liberatore over the boundary line. I think McCarthy will have to work very hard for his possessions today against Grant. He'll have to make Grant work and try and bring him out with some positional play. Yes, Grant, uh, certainly one of the superstars of the AFL competition. Boundary throw in. Scotty Wine in front gets a tap down, and I think we'll see another ball up here. Enormous number of players around the ball in today's football. It's, it's very hard to get a clean possession away in that situation. Well, these two will be doing a lot of this today. Scotty Wine and Matthew Primus. Primus this time gets a tap down Boyd. A handball around the corner finds Chrissy Johnson. A terrific kick by Johnson. Just misses Anthony Mellington over the top of him. And uh, this will make it very tough for Fitzroy to score from there. McCarthy couldn't control the boy. ball. Chris Grant can. Hurry kick off the left boot. And he finds Peter Quill out at half back. Hurried hand pass there by Quill to Scotty West. West on the out of wing for Footscray. Chips it in. Romero couldn't take the mark, but he's got plenty of time to recover. Gets a handball over to Luke Darcy as rain continues to fall here at the Witten Oval. They mess around a little bit too much with it there. Footscray as Baldwin chips in, but again, Footscray gained possession. But I think there will be a free kick to Fitzroy, and it will go to Jason Baldwin for a high tackle. Well, one of the veterans of the side has played over 120 games. Just kicked one goal this season, been in and out of the side. Kicks a high ball, be difficult to mark now with these slippery conditions. Wallace, the veteran, ex-captain. Great play here by Pike to Bamford. Here come the Lions. Bamford kicks long. Mellington's his target, he's got it. Beautiful delivery there, Kevin. Lovely kick to position. Rombotis is clear on the other side of the ground. I think he was looking for him, Kev, but uh, that is terrible execution of the kick there from Anthony Mellington. Caught in two minds, he saw Ron Bottas coming down from the wing. And it looks like he wanted to pass it off, then changed his mind. Out of bounds on the foot. Tony Campbell drives long, looking for Grant. McCarthy couldn't take it on the second grab. Johnson, one of the young guns at Footscray West, picking up a lot of touches to Ramiro. 
Kicks back to 50, Hargraves his target. Coming through is Collingook, being very lively at ground level. Can he pop through his second long shot? He's off target. Once again, though, he had space. He cleared. I don't know why Hargraves didn't let him take the bounce, run in and close the gap even closer for the shot for goal. That was another opportunity missed by Footscray. So Dent to bring the ball back into play. Matthew Dent favouring the other side of the ground. Strong westerly wind here today at uh, the Witten Oval, and that is a terrific mark taken by Luke Darcy. He can kick it across the ground if he looks to Nigel Kellett, but choosing to go long into the forward line, looking for either Watts or Hargrave. Stop the way, here's Kellett. Kellett on the end of this, a left foot kick. Johnny Barker will get back there and take the defensive mark for the Lions. He brings it out to the main grandstand side of the ground here at the Witten Oval. Brad Boyd takes the mark, kicks to Atkins. He's almost off, trying to get something happening out of the back line. As Peter Doyle kicks long to the forward line, out very wide, and thumped away again by Chris Grant over the top of John McCarthy. Now, I think McCartney has to has to make his leads late to try and come into the ball when it's low. If he's going to drag Grant in there, Grant will outplay him every time. As you said, Curls, he really has to work hard for his possession today. One part of his game, he hasn't really been a hard runner. He must really bring that into his game today. Primus gets the tap down. Baldwin takes it, then loses possession. Scotty Wine the same. Very, very tough in close today. Freddie Chandler gets a hurry kick away, but taken by Steve Wallace from Footscray in defence. This kick only goes about 15 metres, and taken by Brett Chandler from Fitzroy. Chandler centre wing. Footscray lead 1 2 8. Fitzroy one behind one point. Pike can take it. Ron Bottas paddles the ball along, kicks it off the ground. And slides through for a behind. Kevin, in conditions like this is when the thoughtful player has to apply himself because there will be a lot of football coming out of the back of the pack today and the, the scout and the crummer will find some football in that position. Johnson takes the short kick. Ramiro. It's a poor kick. Sets up Boyd. Can put the lines back into attack. Looking for Dwyer. It was a poor kick. Freddie Hook's come across. And a free kick's being paid. And it's going to Footscray. Freddie Hook to Wirra. Played one game with the Dockers, Brad Weirer. This is a poor kick. That's the second poor kick in a row coming out of the fence by the Footscray boys. They've got, a, they've got a smart up in that area. Johnny Rombotis. You can see the slippery conditions of the ground. Just lost his footing. Wallace. Under pressure. He'll be happy to see the ball go over. Kevin, I think at quarter of time you'll see a lot of players changing their footwear. I'd say a lot of these boys have been involved with souls. Well, 20 minutes ago, there was blue skies in Melbourne. We've had a tremendous amount of rain, but now the skies are very dark. Current temperature's 14. That's the maximum expected. We see cloudy with a few showers. Well, the showers have certainly hit Witten Oval. And we've got uh, Scotty Wine and Matthew Primus locking horns. A bit of tension out there, a bit of friction out there today. It's, a, it's an important game this morning because uh, and also it curls. Fitzroy's only won the one game. Footscray fighting for its survival. Yes. Well, well, we think uh, Fitzroy probably would think they've got some sort of chance here this afternoon. As Freddie Chandler takes the ball for Fitzroy. Looks for Mallington into the forward line, over the back. And Mallington does pretty well to get back there first against Campbell. If you can finish this off, oh, it'll be a great goal. It's a good kick in towards goal and almost a mark there to Chrissy Johnson. That rush through for one behind. Curls, uh, Footscray probably are on a hiding to nothing. They are, like it's their home ground. I know they've had, it's been their home ground forever and uh, they pride themselves on the fact that they do win down here and uh, uh, they've got a tough one in front of them. The Footscray kids are playing hard footy. So the kick out finds Jose Romero, gets it off to Brad Johnson, member side of the ground. He goes long looking for Steve Collinup out in front of Atkins, takes it beautifully Collinup but now you're gone. Ducked his head. Why did he come back? Absolutely, Curls. You're right. He's, he, had, he had his right leg free. Yeah. Once he tried to get around, it's just too slippery, slippery to be trying those things today. But a good tackle by Johnny Barker. So he takes the kick at centre wing for Fitzroy. Goes long. Looking for a mark in the forward line. It's very difficult for the forwards to take a mark in these very slippery conditions. But a free kick's been picked out. And it will go to Rowan Smith for Fitzroy. Smith, one of the most improved players. Kick. Kicks wide, and Quill takes the mark. That's a great kick, wasn't it? Beautiful. Beautiful. Rowan Smith. So the former East Fremantle star. Directing traffic. Got Hargraves on the lead. Big fist away by Wharf. 
And the ball is forced through for a point from Scotty West. Bernie, you've played the odd game on this ground. You'd have to come in from the uh, from the grandstand side today, wouldn't you? Yeah, absolutely, Curls. You must attack from this side. The wind is pretty strong from the west, blowing directly to the outer. So uh, it's a bit surprising that you would defend at this side of the ground. But Rowan Wolf has found space. And a good kick out there from Matthew Dent finds him. Rowan Wolf, only a very young player and a promising player for Fitzroy. Goes long looking for Primus, and I think he should know. He drops a chest mark, Matthew Primus, couldn't hold it. And Scotty Wine will tie him up. It's going to be a good duel, that one, with Primus and Wine. And I just hope the umpires just let them sort it out themselves. And if you just wonder about the value of the big blokes on a day like this, though, Curls, uh, they probably get their hands to it a lot, but probably not get a lot of possessions themselves. Well, they're sitting around the ground, yes. And another ball up. So there's about 25 players around the ball here as the umpire throws the ball into the air. And Primus and Wine doing a lot of wrestling. Primus takes it out. And Bamford off the ground. Kicks it up towards Mickey Dwyer. And Steve Prettyhook is happy to see that one over the boundary line. Here we had that rain because the game opened at fantastic pace. And the players were handling the ball very, very well. Let's go 139. Fitzroy three behind three points. Scotty Wine's very good in these conditions, Curls. When it's breezy and a bit slow, he's got that experience and he can... Use that uh, to very, great advantage. Yeah, he's very strong, of course. He can't be pushed off the ball. And well, they come back to his pace, Kevin, don't they? <laughs> very, very true. Well, Scotty might have uh, <laughs> might argue with that that he never had pace. <laughs> he's been a great player. Primus looks like he's got a great future. Once more, tied up on the half board flank. You see, I think in conditions like this, uh, Libertore should be at his best today. And Libertore on screen. Brownlow medalist, Garden. Gardner medalist, Morrish medalist, best and fairest medalist at Footscray. He marches on Anzac Day, he's got that many medals. Scott Wine gets it out to Ramiro. He's got support from Callet. Goes short to Darcy. Hargraves is, is his target. Can't take on the second grab. Good fist away there by Wolf. Ramiro showed tremendous courage. Rombonis caught. Quick hands taken by Johnson. West, out to Collinook. The Bulldogs into attack. Watts has got it. Strong mark there, Kevin. That was a beautiful bit of body work. He just put the shoulder into the Fitzroy boy. Just, just pushed him off the ball a touch. You can see it here in replay. Just pushed him away from it. Fantastic mark. Well, he's been a revelation for Footscray since he's gone down on the forward line. He's kicked 35 goals. Alan Joyce took him uh, from defence and put him to full forward when uh, Jakovic was out and he's their leading goal kicker one of the best and fairest at Footscray in the under 19s then went to the VFA this is a long kick will it make the distance it's hit the post yes it, it just it firstly gives uh, Footscray two key forwards he plays that position very very well young Watts So Simon Atkins taking the kick in for Fitzroy. Matthew Dent filling in at fullback with Malloy out and also Paxman the late withdrawal. But Atkins taking this kick in, kicks to the outer side of the ground. A long kick and spills to Brad Boyd. Tony Liberatore in there fighting hard at the bottom of the pack, as he always is. And we'll probably see another throw up by the umpire. Bernie, in conditions like this, uh, I thought maybe Atkins would have been pretty handy around the ball. On the balls and yeah, on the ball. He's a little bit of a worry in the back line, isn't he? With yeah. his lack of pace, especially against someone like Colin Hill. But he is very creative once he gets possession. This is Johnson for Footscray. Hurry kick around his body. Wolf in front of Hargraves. Attacks the ball and does it very nicely. Dashing play by Rowan Wolf. And away he goes. Doesn't mess around. Direct into the forward line. Chris Grant. All over McCarthy. Judges it much better and takes a strong chest mark. He can give it off to Brad Weirer. Actually goes for the hand pass to uh, Rowan Smith. Now out to Weirer. Chasing hard is Chris Johnson, but Weirer should get this kick away. He does. Brings it along the member side of the ground. A little bit of a nudge there by Simon Atkins. And the umpire has deemed that. That's a push in the back. So the free kick to go to Steve Collinhook. Yeah, it was just there. Collinhook, who uh, hurt his knee late last year. Miss Footscray's finals campaign finds Hargraves. We had the situation uh, at, the, at the back area, back half here for Footscray. Grant is just holding him up so often. Whereas the other end, the opportunities are now starting to come from Footscray. And if this pattern continues, that they'll build this into a match-winning lead. Well, they're a little bit loose there, weren't they? Yeah, like Wolf was about three or four metres behind Hargraves. 
and Ron Bottas, who was jumping into the space, really didn't cover it well enough. Can't afford to be loose in defence nowadays. They've got teams at their disposal who just cut you apart. Well, he's kicked one. He's kicked 30 goals for the season. Averages six marks a game. He's already taken three. So from right on 50, Hargraves, who's a thumping kick, he's off target, minus score. It seems to me on Hargraves, he's, I think he must be doing quite a bit of work in the gym. He's, he seems to be building up, particularly in the upper body. They're just not allowing enough, are they, for the breeze? They should be aiming more towards that right goalpost. I can't understand why they don't. Matthew Dent, a Brent, again. Go. Well, a, bit, a little bit of uh, indecision there by Matthew Dent, but eventually goes long to the outer side of the ground. The best move, Darcy couldn't take the mark. Two in the roving there is Scotty Wine to Jose Romero. Here's a chance for the doggies. So Scotty West has a shot from 35 metres. And the same result, unfortunately, for the Bulldogs. Misses to the left-hand side. Once they start to get online, these, uh, these Butchgrave boys, they're going to take this game away. They're just handling the ball far too often for the Fitzroy players at this stage. Two behind to Scotty West. Which Gray setting up the zone from the kick in, but Matthew Dent kicks it to himself and then goes long again to that outer side of the ground. A good thumping kick, but only one player there, and that player is Luke Darcy taking a strong mark for Footscray. Half forward flank area kicks directly into the centre half forward position. Johnson almost took that mark. I can't understand young Hargraves there. It was his, it was his teammate's mark there. He's spoiled, and in actual fact may have hurt himself a little bit. Very exciting player is Brad Johnson, number six for Footscray. Played a tremendous game last week against Collingwood. The ruck work there done by Johnny Barker. Handball there by Chris Johnson to Martin Pike. They're getting the run out of the back line here, Fitzroy. Uh, something happens, no, has happened behind no, the play. No, I, Can you I, see I, that, I, yeah, I was watching it. It was just a little bit of a wrestle. There's nothing much in it, but the umpires are very quick to, uh, to jump on that sort of thing now. Yes, well, really, you just cannot be cannot afford to be undisciplined, though, can That's you, right. I mean, That's if right. the ball's out of your area and your teammate has got possession of the ball, you just forget about it. Exactly. Now, Hargrave is not well here. That's, looks like he's got a whack in the chin. Kick here from Tony Liberatore. That looks better off the boot. Terrific kick by Tony Liberatore from 40 metres out. And he registers Footscray's second goal for the afternoon. So it's Footscray... 2-6-18, leading Fitzroy, three behinds, three points. Lovely kick by the Victoria, and you would have thought that this is by stretched him, but good finish. Well, looking at the windsock curls, uh, it appears to me that uh, they're kicking with a, a slight breeze if they come in on the, uh, the grandstand side. Tony Liberatore, just his sixth goal for the season, not a noted goal kicker, but leads the competition in tackles. There he is at the bottom of the pack. He loves it. He loves these conditions, young Tony, and, uh, well, young Tony, uh, young, young compared to me. He loves these conditions because he's always in at the, right, right around the feet. There's a line there, Curls, but we we'll leave it. We can't find anyone <laughs> in the ground who's older than you, Curls. And you can see here with the sand, this is the venue for beach volleyball in the year 2000, as Johnson takes it away, kicks back towards the half-forward line, Atkins versus Collinock, who's been very lively Callot rubs the ball back towards the half forward line. Doyle oh, oh, caught. Oh, oh, oh. Not paid. Rombotis caught by Collinock. Superb tackle. Yeah, this time he's rewarded, JB, and uh, I think the first one should have been rewarded. Yes, you. A player must be given some chance, but I believe both those Mitchell boys never had the were given the chance to release or get rid of the ball. Seven possessions to Steve Collinock. Been a live wire. Hargraves is the target. A lot of courage shown there from Bottas, chipped in, Warp met solidly. Desperate play once more by Collingwood. They're getting on top foot spray. They're getting numbers around the ball, and they're working hard as a unit. Stephen Paxman didn't take his place in the Fitzroy side. His wife uh, expecting a baby. So his uh, spot was taken by Marty Worry. Here's Kellett. Footscray back into attack. Danger here for Fitzroy. Dent, good fist away. Doyle pounced on it. Gets the ball back here to Chandler. Goes short. And the ball is forced over the line. So just over a minute of action left in this first term. Footscray 2 6 18. Lead Fitzroy, three behinds. Yeah, it's great to see forwards working hard to keep the ball in the area. A, once they've missed the mark, to really chase and work harder to hold the ball. 
So the boundary throw in Member's side of the ground. Darcy against John Barker. Fitzroy, loose position again, just a little bit fancy with the handball. They weren't under any uh, real pressure there, just missing the target. It's not, not really a day for the fancy stuff today, just get the ball onto the boot as quickly as possible. Barker again doing the ruck work against Darcy. Darcy gets a tap over the top. Romero takes it, gives it to Weira. Weira off the left boot, standing start. Darcy going back, terrific courage and a great mark to Luke Darcy. He's, he's really developing this boy in that uh, out of forward area. Oh, he's a good kid, Luke Darcy. Just uh, a terrific smother there by Chris Johnson. He's caught, tied up by Colin, who gets back to Darcy, spills back to him. Here's Tony Liberatore, bottom of the pack stuff. Terrific effort by Liberatore. This is Johnson. He's tackled, spills to Romero. And I think this will trickle over the boundary line in the Footscray forward pocket, but some good work there by both sides. They're under siege, Fitzroy. They really have to find some better players they are at the moment. So the boundary throw in over the top is Park Rays over, over the top of Martin Pike. It eventually comes back to Pike. He's tied up. The umpire gave him plenty of opportunities to get rid of that one, but uh, it's play on as they bring the ball out of defence towards ball and on the wing. And he runs the ball over the boundary line in front of the John Gent stand. Jason Baldwin on screen, veteran of 121 games for Fitzroy, 2618 Footscray, Fitzroy three behind three points. There won't be any further score in this first term, just seconds to go before the siren. Atkins, happy to force the ball towards the boundary line. So at the end of the first quarter, Footscray 2618, Fitzroy three behind three points. That man on screen, Danny Hargraves, is a very important player. He's kicked the goal, Curls, and Footscray after a bit of a tardy start, although they were kicking with, I would think, a slight breeze. It's, it's a choppy breeze. It would be a very interesting second quarter to see if Fitzroy can make something of that Geelong Road end. The pack that played that will witness that quarter, Kevin, I don't think it matters uh, which end Footscray will be kicking to. I think they're, they're, they've developed a pattern already, and they're clearly on top of Fitzroy, and I'd expect them to just gradually go away with this. They've got too many good players uh, around the ball and in key positions. You've got Grant controlling centre-half back, and you've got Hargrave and, and Darcy staying look dangerous up forward. So we look forward to a very interesting second quarter. At quarter time, the Bulldogs lead 2-6-18. Fitzroy, three behinds, three points.